Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I had a good night's sleep. I'm at my friend's place in Dalarna, in the northern part of Sweden. And north is actually like the middle, but we think that it's the northern part. Um, and she has a wonderful little son, and uh, and we're having so much fun. And this is like the last few days before I get Penny and I'm so excited um, to be a dog mom and I can't wait to get her on Tuesday. I'm like, you know, it's like I can feel the butterflies in my belly and I'm like all excited. Um, so that's very, that's something that I'm looking forward to. I'm very grateful that, that I'm getting a little dog. I'm also very grateful that I um, have so many wonderful friends. I, uh, I came here yesterday and we just had such an amazing time. She's one of my like dearest like soulmates, you know, we were nannies together in Switzerland a long time ago and uh, it's so wonderful like with some of the friends you've had for such a long time and then um, when you see each other, like even if you don't speak often and even if you don't you know, hang out much. It's like nothing has changed. It's like a soul connection. Um, I'm grateful for um, uh, for the tools that I have to deal with anxiety and the grief nowadays. Um, it's teaching me also to kind of take ownership of my own life instead of um, being a victim of circumstances. Uh, which is one of the like biggest reasons that I'm finally, you know, getting a, a dog because I've been wanting a, a dog for so long and um, I found reasons, you know, not to for such a long time and now I just don't have any reasons anymore. I have the time, I have the space, I have the knowledge, I have the money, like I, I just don't have any more reasons for not having a dog and I feel like I, I imprison myself sometimes with limitations and like being too too uh, organized and too kind of um, efficient like I mean it might not be the most efficient thing but for me to have a companion in life is like worth all the non-efficiency which I can also see now when I hang out with my friend and her little son you know it's not very efficient like he walks and he looks at insects and he like but maybe rushing is not what life is about maybe presence and you know being in the moment and seeing you know whatever my little puppy is gonna explore or you know whatever the child explores in the in the you know uh, playground um maybe that's what life is about my you know being there and like watching you know whatever they see and i feel like you see the world with new eyes when you get a new perspective. I just remember when I, I bought my scooter and I got to see Stockholm from such a, a different view. Uh, that like was amazing for me and I'm sure it's gonna be a similar feeling with little Penny by my side. I hope she's gonna love yoga and be a part of this too. I think that's gonna be a very like wonderful way for you guys to get to know her too. Um, she's like adorbs, she's so cute. And uh, yeah, <laughs> excitement. So actually now I, I told you, I didn't tell you before, I, I'm not pregnant, I'm not having a child, but I'm having a dog. So I'm gonna continue doing these classes. Um, now we're gonna do yoga. Get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. We're gonna start taking control over our breath. So on 
the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. And on the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. Inhale. come back to this breathing eventually but first we're going to do the breath of fire and we do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine quick and fast in it. Beautiful. Now we're going to come to all our fours. So <clears throat> place your hands straight underneath your shoulders, place your knees straight underneath your hips. On the inhalation, come forward with your belly, the cup up to the ceiling. On the exhalation, come down. Inhale. Beautiful. We're gonna do um, a strength and balancing pose. So we're really gonna ground our right knee and our left arm, and we're gonna straighten out. And on the exhalation, meet in the middle. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Beautiful, we're gonna do the same on the other side. Inhale, straighten up. Exit, come down. Beautiful, we're gonna tuck our toes and we're gonna come to down dog. Mm, straighten up here. Mm. Mm. We're gonna come to child's pose and just rest in child's pose for a few breaths.
And we are going to come to our back and we're going to come up with our right foot on our left knee and going to hold on here. Let's just lean backwards. Here we're going to come down with our left foot, grab hold of our right ankle with our left arm, come out with our right arm and just come down to the side so we get a wonderful hip opener and back twist at the same time. Inhale, come up, we're going to do the same on the other side. So come up with your left foot on your right knee, grab hold of your right knee and lean back. Down, grab hold of your ankle with your right foot and come down with your right hand. Sorry, look over your left shoulder. Hold on to your knees and just come a little bit back and forth with them. And we're gonna go up and down. And come up to Taylor's position. Get up on your sitting bones and straighten your back up. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area you find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come and be here in this moment. Tatadrashtu 
so much for today remember to go out thank you i love you guys and i'll see you tomorrow bye